Impossible is a word found only in a dictionary of fools. Good morning, America and the rest of the world. I got something stuck in my throat. I'm not feeling good. And you probably don't care. And I'm literally too cool for this. Whoa, what the hell's all over my coffee cup? Gross. Okay, so first of all, today's video is going to be drinks that you can have while following Atkins. <clears throat> okay. This is all you can have. Drink your damn water. Have a good day. Just kidding. You know that's what I want to say, though. So, first of all, black coffee. A lot of people are under the in uh, assumption, and I'm not naming names. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> black coffee can be acceptable, although it can have its side effects. If you are... A person that has problems with cravings, it could be because you're consuming too much black coffee. So please keep that on the wraps. Otherwise, drink as you wish. Uh, the next thing is regular coffee, like the coffee I'm currently having right now. You see it? Regular coffee, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, whipping, whipping, whipping cream, whipping cream. Okay, calm down. Heavy whipping cream and a packet of sweetener. Like I use Sweet and Low. You can use Splenda. You can use Stevia. I don't know about Splenda, but Stevia um, or artificial sweetener of your choice. Now, I'm not condoning using artificial sweeteners. I'm just saying one packet can get you through usually perfectly fine. Be careful with the heavy whipping cream. A lot of people don't understand that it adds up really quick. Okay, just two tablespoons, or I think a tablespoon is like 50 calories, and I want to say it's like five grams of fat. So it can add up really, really fast um, if you're using that throughout the day. I'm all wheezy. That's weird. Okay. The next thing is that I've used, this is this was kind of my go-to for like a sweet drink when I stopped drinking soda and stuff like that. And everybody kind of has their own. Um, mine was Glacier Ice Drinks. Um, but, and I say one serving, I think it's like two servings per bottle. I got away with the occasional bottle with no problem. Um, I didn't do more than one a day and had no issues with weight loss. The, bit, the big thing here is that you're watching portions of your drinks in addition to your food and I know that sounds crazy but if you're doing a regimen in which you're being strict on your food you need to also be strict on what you're consuming as far as stuff other than water the next thing number four is flavored water one serving okay I'm only saying flavored water because a lot of people are on this crystal light kick or they're on this I don't know what that other stuff is that Walmart sells, whatever Walmart sells. They have like five different brands or something like that, and everybody's on it. If you're going down the soda aisle to get your flavored water, you're not drinking flavored water. You're drinking soda, okay? I don't care which way you want to look at it, but it's the same damn thing, okay? So stop. If you're not seeing results like you should, if you didn't lose two pounds this week and maybe 10 pounds this month and you're drinking 10 of those a day, stop. Okay, just stop. It's not working. Uh, the next thing is number five. Realize you don't need, <laughs> this is not even the one, but I just threw it in there. Realize you don't need to be drinking something sweet all the time. Okay, the majority of what you're drinking should be this. I'd say seven or eight bottles of these a day at 16.9 ounces is usually suffice. If you're trying to get that sweet craving in 24-7, chances are you've either got this wildly weird sweet tooth or you're eating too much carbs and sugar or you're not limiting yourself from that stuff so that you're continuously craving. Or your caffeine levels are too high and you're constantly craving a sweet thing. So back off of those a little bit and you'll be a lot more successful. Trust me, I'm telling you from personal 
experience. Number six, the occasional BAI drink, buy drink. Um, it's like a juice thing or whatever, but they are very high usually in sugar alcohols. You need to make sure that you're not drinking them daily because not only will it give you the shits, but it will also potentially derail your ketosis. And that is usually what is with all of these things that it will pop you out of ketosis because you've consumed too much so be careful with that although they are good but honestly I like the glacier ice drinks better it's up to you uh, number seven the occasional Atkins drink Atkins shake now you can do them daily if you want if they if they have no problem if you have no problem still losing weight but if you see a stall or something like that, that could be the culprit. Atkins drinks, Atkins shakes, Atkins snacks or something like that. Try to step away from them. If you can't buy a four pack and only eat or only drink one, if you drink all four, okay, it's time to stop buying them. Okay, because you should not be consuming four of those in a day. The next thing is tea. Okay, just like coffee, make sure you're limiting it. You don't want to drink tons of it. You should not be getting sweet tea at Circle K at the dispenser. It is loaded with sugar, so stop that. Uh, the next thing is <clears throat> 9 and 10 are both alcohol related. Mm, alcohol. <laughs> A lot of people ask me this constantly. Can I drink beer? No. But if you do, Michelob Ultra, 2.6 carbs per bottle. Okay. That's the best I can do. Uh, a lot of people ask about liquor. What's the best liquor? Mm, doesn't really matter. Usually it's going to pop you out of ketosis and stall your weight loss for a couple days until you burn off the alcohol. But I hear that vodka can be the best. I personally don't like vodka because it's weird tasting. And who the hell takes shots of vodka? I saw somebody doing that. That's disgusting. I personally like whiskey. But... It can potentially cause you to pop out of ketosis and your body's going to burn off the alcohol usually before it starts burning fat again. So if you have to absolutely drink for the weekend or something here and there, then I would pick one of these things. Either stick to liquor, careful with your mixers, it's really important, and I would just probably steer clear of beer. Word of caution, I am not your personal drunken advocate but if you're used to drinking beer do not consume as much liquor as you would normally consume beer or else you will black out and probably die because it's not the same okay if you drink a shot it's the same as probably a beer or a beer and a half so if you drink four beers and you're smashed do not drink ten shots because you're probably gonna die so <laughs> be careful um, a couple honorable mentions that I don't necessarily recommend, but I thought I would talk about. Sometimes when I travel, I will drink a Coke Zero if I can't find anything else, because a lot of other countries don't carry the same products. I have seen that it does kick me out of ketosis, and I do have issues with it. I have done it on occasion, but I will say that when I am traveling, I'm walking tons more. That does not mean it's okay to drink a Coke Zero. It's not okay to drink a Diet Coke or anything like that. I'm just saying maybe it's not as bad as a Coke. Um, the other thing is Powerade. Okay, a lot of people say, well, I got the sugar-free Powerade. Okay, how many freaking servings are in that 32 ounce of Powerade? I don't know, but I would assume it's like three or four, okay? Is this this does not have nutrition facts. How many servings is this? That's funny. Water doesn't come as servings. Why? Because you could drink as much of it as you want. Okay. The next thing is Powerade, be careful. Coke Zero, eh, stay away from it. Uh, Powerade, I would say stay away from it too. But these are things like if you had to. You don't have to. But uh, the other thing is people are like, well, I want to go have coffee. Where can I have coffee? What kind of coffee can I have? Starbucks, you can use the heavy cream. Tell them to do light heavy cream. 
because otherwise they're just gonna blah, 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 pour it in there and maybe you can ask them to put it on the side they can give you a little thing maybe you can even bring your little spoon measure it out and you know you have a tablespoon so be careful with that also um, the first time you go maybe check the ingredients on the gallon they'll show you what's in it so it's important to have that and then maybe a side of zero or no sugar uh, sweetener don't go overboard if you do this daily I promise you it's going to most definitely stall your weight loss that being said those are my mentions for things you can drink while doing Atkins you guys I hope you guys like our video please like share comment and subscribe to our channel as always be stronger than your excuses and whoa, remember to spread love not hate be stronger than your excuses <laughs> and yes we have gear available be stronger than your excuses gear <laughs> And check us out on our Facebook group. It's called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. It's an amazing support group. We have a beautiful 3,100 people, actually 3,096, because we had to delete some people yesterday. If you're going to act a fool or be inappropriate or try to sell stuff, we're not having it. You guys have a beautiful day. Come join us. Check out the links in the description below if you're just getting started on Atkins or a low-carb regimen. I love you guys. Keep up the good work, and thank you very much.